Hello and welcome to the 51st tutorial in the Covers TDX version 3C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at scene transitions. This tutorial is seeing you've done tutorial 50. If you haven't done already there will be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project plus there will be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up this project. And what you want to do is going to go to our hello world scene.cpp and where we're actually changing the scene so here so we're pushing the scene and uh, actually no we'll do this one here replacing the scene we'll go down here and to do a transition it is extremely easy first we'll just get rid of this and do transition and let the intelligence kick in and as you can see there's a bunch of transitions you can use we're just going to use transition flip x Well, like I said, there's, there's loads of them. And we just select that. Do colon colon create. Then it just specifies the parameters that you need. I'm just going to do this one. Uh, how many seconds do you want it to take? I'm going to put two seconds. Then you specify the scene, scene. And now we're ready to run. Okay, so if we click high scores, as you can see, it's rotating. And if we click back, click high scores again, it's rotating. But you, you might think it rotated and they didn't do anything on the back, and that's because we haven't put any transition code here. We'll just do that right now. We'll actually add a different transition. Transition. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, let's do fade. Fade is always a nice one create this is one that we use quite a lot and put two seconds put scene for that and now let's just run this application now we click high scores it flips in the x-axis click back it does a fade transition so that's it for scene transitions as i showed you there are loads of transition if you just put transition in you'll get all of the ones that you can see what parameters they need as well or if you just go to the Cocos 2D API see all the ones you need. In the next tutorial we're going to look at sprite animation. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description. You can also comment on this video or message us directly via YouTube. Also the required all the required links for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day.